Is Stranger Things season five about to be split into three parts? What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. So today I'm talking about how Stranger Things Season 5 might end up being split into three parts. This comes with some recent news regarding Cobra Kai and the way Netflix has been releasing their shows lately. But before I dive into all this, be sure to hit that like button and comment down below your predictions for how Stranger Things Season 5 will release. Do you think it'll be all at once? Two parts, three parts, four parts, five? Let's just keep this thing going. <laughs> And of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell to help reach my goal of 150,000 subscribers here on the channel. It mean a lot. And if you guys want to watch Stranger Things and other movies and TV shows with me, you can do so on my Patreon. I do commentary tracks over there, and my commentary tracks for every episode of Stranger Things are out right now, with the first episode commentary tracks for every season being free to watch. I recently watched the original Star Wars for May the 4th, so if you guys want to come watch movies and shows with me, I have a blast over there, and your support on Patreon means the world. But without further ado, let's get down to business. So last week, Netflix announced that Cobra Kai Season 6, the final season of one of their biggest shows, will be releasing in three parts. The first part being July 18th, the next part being November 28th, and the next part being sometime in 2025. It doesn't have a set in stone date yet. They also said that this final season will be 15 episodes long, which is five episodes longer than all the other seasons of Cobra Kai, as they're typically 10 episodes dropped all at once. And this announcement has sparked a lot of debate online, with some people saying they're milking Cobra Kai, with some people saying they're a fan of it. But the question I now ask, and many other folks online have as well, is will this open the door for Stranger Things Season 5 to be split up into three parts? For starters, we know Stranger Things is no stranger to splitting up its season into parts. Seasons 1 through 3 dropped all at once, but Season 4 was split into two volumes. Season 4 Volume 1 dropping May 27th of 2022, Season 4 Volume 2 dropping on July 1st of 2022. In fact, recently Netflix overall has been pushing for all of their big shows to have two-part releases, a month apart roughly. Bridgerton Season 3 which comes out in a few weeks is having four episodes drop May 16th and then a month later in June the rest of the season drops. The Crown's final season, another one of Netflix's biggest shows, was split up into two parts over the course of a month break. Even something like You Season 4 was split up into two parts and the new season of Emily in Paris which comes out later this year is also going to be split into two parts. Over the past few years but more so recently, Netflix has really made the push for splitting up their biggest shows into two parts, which at the end of the day is probably a business move so that they can keep subscribers on for one extra month as opposed to dropping all the episodes at once. The subscriber binge watches them all and then that's that. They cancel the subscription. If there's a popular show like, say, Cobra Kai, they might be able to spread out subscriptions over multiple months. Regardless, it is a very safe bet to say that Stranger Things Season 5 will release in bare minimum two parts, as we saw Season 4 did that. But will it actually go as far as Cobra Kai Season 6 and split up into three parts? Honestly, I don't think it will. As we all know, filming for Stranger Things Season 5 has been underway since January of this year, and it's slated to finish filming in January of next year, 2025. All along, the Duffer Brothers have said it's going to take about an entire calendar year to film this final season, and so far, that's par for the course. We're in May, they've been filming consistently, and they're still working on that final episode script based on Ross Duffer's last Instagram post update. Based on the timeline of filming ending in January of 2025, it's very possible that Stranger Things Season 5 could follow the same exact release template as Season 4, with Volume 1 of Season 5 dropping in May of 2025, and Volume 2 of Season 5 dropping in July of 2025. However, if they do want to go this three-part route, they could to drop some of the episodes while filming is still going on for this final season. We know they're working on VFX as they film. We even saw this VFX scan in progress sign from the Stranger Things broadcast channel a couple weeks back. So they're working on this thing while they go to make sure they can get it out to the fans as fast as possible. So I wouldn't fully write off the possibility of us getting some episodes before filming is done, though I do think that's pretty unlikely. Now one of the big issues with Stranger Things Season 5 dropping in three parts is it's only eight episodes. Cobra Kai's final season is 15 episodes, almost double the amount of this final season of Stranger Things. That poses the question, how would Stranger Things even go about releasing the episodes for this final season? Would they do three episodes, three episodes, two episodes? Would they do four, two, two? Who's to say? We do know that in Stranger Things season four, every single episode of that season was over an hour long, the shortest episode being one hour and three minutes, with the longest episode being two hours and 20 minutes. So if all the episodes of this final season are on the longer side, which 
which I firmly believe they will be, dropping three episodes, then three episodes, then two episodes in different volumes over the course of six or seven months could work because it would be like dropping three movies, then three movies, then two movies. But the next and most important question would be, are there logical breakpoints to actually warrant splitting up the season into three parts? With Stranger Things season four, we got the first seven episodes on May 27th, and at the end of episode seven, The Massacre at Hawkins Lab, there's this huge revelation that's made about Vecna's true identity. He's Henry Creel and he's 01. Then we took about a month off in between until volume two to really stew on this and marinate, process everything that we witnessed, but also speculate for what's going to go down in the final two episodes that would drop in July. It was a very logical stopping point because volume one ended with an episode that really kind of restructured the way we viewed Stranger Things. We had to recontextualize everything we thought we knew about this show. And you could go back and rewatch all of Stranger Things in the time off between volume one and volume two and have a whole new understanding and appreciation for it. So again, it was a logical stopping point to give the audience some time to breathe before the final parts of the season. And with regard to Cobra Kai season six being split into three parts, John Hurwitz, one of the creators of the show, put out a tweet saying, this final season is three distinct chapters. It's almost like there's three mini seasons within one greater epic finale season. So splitting it up into three parts makes clear sense there. Now for Stranger Things season five, they will have the benefit of seeing how Cobra Kai season six performs with audiences and viewership under this three part release structure. Like Stranger Things season five will still be filming when parts one and two drop for Cobra Kai. We don't know when that last part's gonna drop yet. But with Cobra Kai being one of Netflix's more popular shows, they'll be able to see how it performs. Will audiences only show up on July 18th when volume one drops and then forget about it? I would like to think not, but there has to be some hesitation there with these long gaps, right? I mean, July to November, you're in a whole new season of life. It's not like it's one month or two months in between. That's like four to five months of time between volumes. And with people's attention spans and so much content coming out, I fear that Cobra Kai season six part two could get lost in the hustle and bustle of all the streaming shows and movies. Plus it drops on Thanksgiving day. But again, I have faith in that show and Netflix will be able to monitor this. But if the Cobra Kai season six model of splitting up the final season into three parts is a hit, Netflix could definitely adapt that for Stranger Things season five. The only issue would be is Stranger Things season five actually structured in a way where you can logically release three episodes, then three episodes, then two episodes, or however you want to slice it. Because if they're just doing it for the sake of splitting up into three parts, that's where I take issue with it. But again, if there's logical breaking points within the story, I'm okay with it. Gone could be the days of Netflix dropping their biggest shows in two parts. We could just be in the new era of the three-part Netflix show. Two, make it three. I'm not driving. That being said, Stranger Things historically has dropped all of their episodes at once. We saw that with seasons one through three. It wasn't until season four that they adapted the volume model. So if the Duffers truly want to go back to the season one roots, not only from a storytelling standpoint and character standpoint, but from an actual release standpoint, then they will drop all the episodes at once so that we as the fans can sit there and soak it all in one last time. Having all the Stranger Things season five episodes drop all at once would be the classic Netflix binge model. And I'm honestly kind of hoping that's what we get. But what do you guys think? Will Stranger Things Season 5 be split into two parts, three parts, or no parts? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help reach my goal of 150,000 subscribers here on the channel. It mean a lot. And if you guys want to watch Stranger Things with me, but also other movies and TV shows, I have tons of commentary tracks on my Patreon right now, including my commentary for every single episode of Stranger Things. If you guys sign up at the $5 tier right now, you will be entered into a giveaway where you could win this Stranger Things Funko Pop, a Disney 4K Steelbook, and a movie poster. There's only about 15 spots left, so make sure to get yours while you still can. Your support over there means the world and allows me to continue making these videos, so consider becoming a film stock patron today. But that'll do it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Until next time, I'll see you on the other side of the Upside Down.